Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite hair products from 2016. So as you guys know, if you're not new to my channel, I am natural. I usually keep my hair in twists underneath my uh, wigs or whatever I decide to do. Since it's winter, I am keeping my hair in protective style, but for the sake of this video, I was like, you know what, let me just uh, bring these cute little twists out. Um, since it's been a long time since I've done a length check, because I'm not too concerned with hair length, I'm about like mid-boob length. <laughs> you can't really see, but like if I were to stretch my hair out or straighten it or anything, it would be about that long. And I have a few layers in the front of my hair. As you can see, it's like a little bit shorter here. But my hair is getting long and I do have type 4 hair that's very, very thick. So I don't have fine hair at all. So my hair can take a lot of product and be like super Gucci. So all right, I have a lot of products to talk about. So let's just like get in this. <laughs> By the way, a little forewarning, grab a snack because it's going to be a long video like I already know. Okay, so I'm going to go um, in product categories, so like how you would usually do things for wash day, you know. So I'm going to start off with first number one, shampoo. So the first shampoo that I'm loving is this Joico Moisture Recovery. Now this is like a higher end um, type of shampoo. You can also find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls if you, you know, keep your eyes peeled. But uh, this is awesome. It's basically for dry hair and it leaves your hair feeling so moisturized. If you're feeling that your hair is kind of just needing like a really good um, cleanse, you know, then I would suggest doing like an apple cider vinegar rinse beforehand or at least just rubbing it in your scalp and then putting this on like your strands um, because I find that most shampoos that are just moisture don't really clarify as well. You know, I feel like sometimes it's one or the other, but this is super, super, super bomb when my hair is just feeling like not on its A game, you know? Then my favorite clarifying shampoo, this is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Squeaky Shampoo. It does have a citrusy scent, and it's a little bit different. The consistency is like really runny. You guys can't like see it in here, but it like swishes around a lot. <laughs> um, but that's good, you know, because I feel like if you have thick hair, then you can really like get it in there, you know, um, without having to spread something that's a little bit thicker. I do have a review on this, so I'll put everything down in the description box because most of these I've already reviewed or have wash day videos with me using them in there so be sure to check this one out and this next shampoo is from Shea Moisture it's their Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil um, Intensive Hydration Shampoo it's a mouthful <laughs> but it does such a great job as well at moisturizing the hair now I just love the Shea Moisture line because I feel like they're super affordable and their Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil line is one of my favorite. I feel like it just works so well for my hair and um, I feel like it just lasts a long time. I've been using this and I feel like I'm only like a third or a fourth of the way through even though I love this shampoo. It just I don't feel like I don't need a lot to make it you know do what it needs to do. All right so now we're going to move on to conditioners. So being that I just mentioned the um previous shampoo from the same line, I figured I might as well go in with this bad boy right here. I feel like everybody and their mama talks about this one. This is the uh, Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask from Shea Moisture. And I'm literally like out, like almost out. I mean, I need more than this for one application on my hair because I have so much freaking hair. Uh, but it just like smells divine. My favorite way to do hair masks, um, and I do have a video on this, I'll link it as well down below, is that I love to put it on, put a little bit of oil on, and then sit under the dryer. I feel like I have like a stand up hair dryer. Uh, I feel like then my hair just feels like so silky smooth, especially when I use this. If you're feeling like you're experiencing a lot of breakage or you live in like a super dry climate right now, especially with winter, like use this every week, every two weeks on your hair and you will be like super Gucci. 
Okay, so this next one right here, this is also from Shea Moisture. <laughs> I love I love their products, what can I say? So this is more for like a protein treatment. It's their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. Okay, so this one is awesome. I'm not sure if I really like the smell of it. It smells like Play-Doh with peppermint. So, I mean, it's not the best, but I feel like the smell doesn't stay in your hair. It's only while you have it on your hair that you really smell it. It does what it's supposed to do. So my favorite part is since my hair isn't like really damaged, sometimes it just needs a little bit of like a protein boost, you know, because you have to balance between protein and moisture. So I like to alternate. So now I feel like this has just the right amount of protein to where it doesn't make my hair feel dry after. You guys know what I mean. If you use some something like Afigee or something like that, a protein treatment, you have to do a deep treatment mask right after because your hair just feels so freaking dry. But with this, I feel like I can just put it in for like, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, sit under a dryer, and then get out, and my hair feels super soft. So I would recommend, if you don't have super damaged hair, then this is a really good conditioner with protein, because I feel like it just, you know, it's, it's good for like that upkeep. Once your hair is healthy and you're just trying to like upkeep it with a little bit of protein here and there, this is amazing. Yay, so I love this one. This is from a company called UB Natural. I think they're owned by Lusters. And it's uh, the Botanical Deep Moisturizing and Softening Mayonnaise Conditioner. And it's got argan, olive oil, and carrot oils in it. And let me just show you guys. Oh, this like smells like heaven. I did um, a video featuring some products from UB Natural and I think it's like, the product line is so amazing. It's affordable. I haven't seen it in stores yet. But I feel like if more people knew about this, because nobody talks about this stuff, then like it would be sold out. Um, but their conditioner makes your hair feel so freaking soft. So I definitely suggest you guys check it out. And it smells delicious, like I've said already. So it's good. You can also do this as like a deep intensive treatment or you can do like a five minute like rinse so it works both ways you get about eight ounces of product in this little package right here and um yeah if any of you guys have tried this or any of the products i'm mentioning please comment down below because i want to hear what your experience is okay so more conditioners are coming up now the conditioners i'm going to talk about are things that i like to use for like a quick conditioning rinse or um when i do a henna rinse for my hair i'll usually use this with the henna so I'll make like a mixture. I, I'm a little bit high maintenance about my hair. I have different conditioners for everything. <laughs> this one here is the Tresemme Perfectly Undone. It's um it has sea kelp extract. It has it's silicone free so that's amazing. And it's a weightless moisturizing conditioner. Now listen this one says system for flowing body and texture don't let that um, sway you or think that it's not for natural hair because it also says for flowing wavy look. Look, this conditioner is amazing for its moisturizing and also I feel like you get a lot of product like 25 fluid ounces and it's so great for like incorporating in any mixtures or if you're doing like a co-wash and you just want something without like, I like this because it works really well, but it's also cheaper. So I feel like this is perfect for, you know, like if you're going on vacation or maybe you're making a henna rinse, you know, that's also a conditioning rinse. And you just want to use a bunch of conditioner, but you don't want to use your expensive ones. I feel like this is perfect. Or if you live in a household with a lot of naturals and y'all go through conditioner like crazy, <laughs> this is a really good one to buy because it's great, it's affordable, you get a lot, and it smells really, really good. Just don't be fooled by this flowing wavy look crap because that's not true. It's amazing for natural hair. And the last conditioner that I'm going to talk about, this here is from Trader Joe's. It's Tea, it's the tea tree tingle. I feel like everybody talks about this. It's got a very um, 
herbally scent. So if you're not into those kinds of scents, then this is not going to be for you. It has peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus in it. And what I like about this is I feel like if you just have like a really dry scalp or your scalp is giving you issues, this is so amazing for not only your hair, but also your scalp because it like soothes it, if that makes sense. Um, it definitely has, they say like, it's got that upscale salon boutique quality conditioner feel and I definitely say yes. I think it smells amazing and it has a lot of really great like herbal oils that your hair is going to love. So if you're on a budget, this is a really, really great option from Trader Joe's. So next up for the leave-in conditioner category, I only have like one holy grail leave-in and this is because this gets the job done. So this here is from Sultanicals. It's their Not Sauce Coil Detangler. So it is a detangler and it is a leave-in. You can use it as both. And what I love about this is it has like an insane amount of slip and you don't even need to use that much. Like I've had this for a long time and I've got about like this much left in it and I also love that um, it is black owned and you know it's a, a mom run business and I love that so I love to support you know my fellow women and kicking ass doing their thing and this has amazing natural ingredients so if that's something that you look for in products this is going to be for you. For example, it's got broccoli seed oil, blue malva herb, it's also got marshmallow root, and uh, chamomile and stuff like that. I've used this so much that the label is kind of worn down so I can't even read the rest, but it is so, so good. This is definitely my favorite product from her line. And if you're like me, you have a lot of hair, your hair is really, really thick, and you have problems detangling, this will cut down your time so much. Or maybe if you have kids and they just, they get a lot of knots and tangles, whoo, like you're just gonna fall in love with this stuff. All right, so now on to stylers. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite stylers. I have a lot of stylers, I've tried a lot of stuff, um, but I'm gonna have to show you guys some of my favorites. So these stylers here are more of a thicker consistency, more like mousses and butters because I feel like in the past that my hair has loved that the most and it keeps my hair feeling moisturized all throughout the week. Because typically the way I'm set up is once I style my hair, I don't want to be bothered re-moisturizing it all the time. That's not for me. I like to set it and forget it until next wash day, you know? The only thing I really want to be doing is spritzing my hair with water, but I don't want to be applying products continually because I just don't like having a lot of product build up in my hair. So if you guys feel me on that, then these stylers are going to be for you. So the first one, again, is from uh, Sultanicals. I, I told you guys I love their products. So this one is the Mama says rock you out twist butter so uh, i feel like all our products smell amazing this is a twist butter that's got like it has a little bit of oil in it but it's it's like like grease it has the consistency of grease from when you were like a kid you know and your mom would be like oiling your scalp so if you guys know what I'm saying, that's the consistency here. And what I love about this is this is also a scalp conditioner. I feel like for me, sometimes during the year, I go through a phase where my scalp is like incredibly, incredibly dry and like, ugh, like, you know, you start to get like flakes and it's not even because I don't wash my hair enough or anything like that. It's because my scalp just needs a little bit of TLC and I feel like this twist butter has been amazing. So I'll rub it on my scalp, usually while I'm styling my hair, and then I'll also use this to coat that section of hair before I twist it. It's amazing. Your hair feels super soft. Your scalp feels amazing. You don't have that itchy feeling. I feel like if you also do protective styling, so if your hair is cornrowed, in braids, or anything like that, this is going to be like amazing. Sometimes if you want to be a little bit extra high maintenance, bring this to the person that's going to uh, style your hair, like in a protective style or something, so they can use this. <laughs> it's, it's super, super, super bomb. Okay, so this next styler here is from Eden Body Works. It's their All Natural Curl Defining Cream. I love using this for twist outs, 
braid outs, flat twist outs, anything like that. And it has amazing ingredients. It's got aloe vera um, leaf juice in there, coconut oil, um, avocado oil, shea butter, um, meadow foam seed oil. I have no idea what that is. But I feel like it's just, it's so soothing on your hair. And what I love is for like winter, this is like super, super, super clutch. And I feel like it also keeps your ends moisturized as well. I just, I love this. I can't say enough good things about it. You get 16 fluid ounces, and I feel like it's easily accessible. You can get this at Sally's or anything like that online if you're international. And it has a medium hold, so it's not going to be like super, super thick. It doesn't make your hair feel like crunchy or anything like that. It's, I mean, obviously, it's like, I'll show you guys. It's a thicker consistency. It's got a little bit of a shake to it. Smells really good, like coconut, very tropical scent. And um, like, look at this, I've been using this for a while and I still have a lot left. So you guys, you don't need to use that much product um, with these stylers, I feel like they just, they do the trick. Ooh, it just started raining, you guys. Ah, I love that. Okay, so this next one is from Design Essentials. It's the Hydrians Argan Moisture Whip Styling Souffle. Now, um, if I open this up here, oh, I got some on my lip. <laughs> um, it smells really, really good. It's got argan oil in it, very moisturizing. So this is less thick than the um, Curl Defining Cream from Eden's Body Works. It's more like, I don't know what to, how to explain it, like a souffle kind of consistency. And um, here, I'll read you guys the description. It's a lightweight, cream-based styling aid designed to consistently seal moisture in and add sheen to hair during styling. So I love that. Um, what I will say is I love using these stylers like this and the other ones for twist outs, braid outs, or just keeping twists in. Um, I know you can use all of these for like wash and goes. Wash and goes aren't really my thing because my hair just gets like super super coiled and I just don't want to deal with detangling it. Like I don't have the time. <laughs> but you can definitely use this for that and I would just say if you have fine hair use like a small amount. Um, but this again it's from Design Essentials. Super super um, easy to find, you know, and Sally's and CVS and I think Walgreens has it. I'm not sure about Walgreens. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but if you are international, you can definitely check out their website. And this is just super moisturizing. And um, yeah, it's 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 a good one. So I feel like I just talked like forever <laughs> about all my favorites. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this. I know some of you guys love seeing my natural hair videos. Um, I just have to say, you know, you guys, if you're new, you can definitely check out my playlist down below. I have a ton of hairstyles and tips and reviews on stuff that I've done before. I'm just kind of like taking a little bit of a break from manipulating my hair and just doing some protective styling. Not a whole lot has changed. So if you watch my older videos you can see you know exactly what I've done in the past and I feel like my hair is growing it's thriving it's about boob length so it is you know doing its thing I have a lot of hair so I'm not sure how much longer I want to keep growing it out but uh, I feel like I've kind of like found my stride you know what I mean when it comes to the products that I use and what works for my hair so these are just my favorites but I definitely encourage you guys to make your hair routine your own I think one of the biggest mistakes is just seeing how long someone's hair is and being like I'm gonna buy exactly what they're using because every person's hair is different it's gonna respond to different things it's gonna like different ingredients you might be allergic to some ingredients so you know like make your routine and your hair regimen your own and enjoy the whole process don't get so caught up in achieving a certain length or being impatient you know um, and if you just want to grow your hair best thing if you've got hair like mine is to just do protective styling. I know that sounds super boring, but if you want to have longer hair, you know, put on a wig. <laughs> That's how I just feel, you know, like why put my hair through all the process and stuff when it's just happy being like this. So yeah, 
that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Share your favorite natural hair products down below in the comments because I always want to try new things even though I could basically open up my own beauty supply store. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.